where you are going. The Two of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like Capricorn, there is a particular relationship that you're dealing with or have been dealing with coming out of February, moving into the beginning of March that has been a little troublesome and worrisome for you and frankly, a bother. It's something somebody and your relationship with this person has been on your mind because it's been going in a way that doesn't feel so great. <clears throat> and I feel like you have had a history with this person and you're, you're oscillating back and forth as to how much you want to get into it <laughs> in this situation. And I, and I feel like it could be over money with the, with the four of pentacles in reverse here. Both of you maybe feeling like the other party is being petty over a certain financial situation that you've shared but is now coming to a close. And it's not coming to a close in the most peaceful or easy way, unfortunately. And I don't like to see this for you, Capricorn, because it, it feels uncomfortable and not how you would want this type of relationship to, to be going down this path. And, and it feels like it's turned a corner that's not necessary, but just with everything that's happened around it, it looking back, it's almost like you, you see that it, the circumstances make this feeling inevitable that you're experiencing. So let's pull some clarifying cards. The King of Wands. And I wonder if you're dealing with a male fire sign in your life, Capricorn. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like both of you are feeling justified in your points of view and have your the opinions that you have about your experience and your perspective of how things went down. You're both feeling very stuck in your own way of thinking and your perspective. And that happens. I mean, we're human and it's not difficult to get wrapped up in our point of view. And the thinking about this situation that's maybe keeping you up at night or um, the situation that you're giving attention to in a way that doesn't feel good, <clears throat> you, want, you wanted it to end differently in a better way, in a more graceful way, in a more compassionate, friendly, loving, kind way. And I don't feel like coming out of February that this has been your experience. And there's, there's some sorrow and angst around that, of course. Um, we can't control other people and how they react to us or how they live their life and the choices that they make. We can only make our choices from what we know is true and what feels right for us. Um, I feel like he's being really obstinate in this situation, Capricorn, and it's it's been super frustrating for you to have to deal with. Um, but I feel like it's coming to its end, which is good. And especially with the judgment card here. And I don't feel like there's going to be, to be that much more time and energy and emotion that you're going to be putting towards the situation. So let's see about March. Yeah, you're, you're definitely moving into uh, bigger, better horizons here into March with the Four of Wands, the Magician, and the Seven of Swords. There might be a little bit of fallout here under the Pentacle cards 
a, a little bit of bitterness. Like they took what wasn't maybe rightfully theirs, but I also feel like you're so sick of dealing with the situation and this person in this way that you've thrown up your hands and you're like, whatever, just take it, have it. I'd really, really, you want that? Okay, fine. Have it. It's yours. Um, and you're not, you're not letting the situation rile you like it was in February. <clears throat> um, with the four of wands here, I feel it like your home front, is, you're, you're rounding a corner in March. And I feel like it's going to be pretty immediate around the full moon, the first of the month, depending on where you live in the world, Capricorn, either the first or the second, that you're going to feel more settled and stable in your home environment and, and the people that you're surrounding yourself with on the home front. So I'm going to pull clarifiers here. Yes. So this, this grieving process is over. Ooh, the tower on the magician. Wow. And the seven. Um, getting back to this with the, the two sevens, the seven of bonds and the seven of swords. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is somebody that you've had to contend with. And I feel like, again, it's a carryover a little bit that's trickling, but I don't feel like it's a super big, powerful energy. It's just annoying at this point. And you're not giving it much time of day or attention anymore. And I feel like you're letting this person over here fight himself. It's like, it's not, it's not your battles anymore, Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> because you want to keep peace in your heart. And I feel like coming out of February, you've come to that realization and that conclusion. And that's, you're, you're resolute in, with the Five of Cups in reverse, the grieving process over this relationship has come to a close and he's moving now back home. Like he gets to go back home, which is, this is what's happening on the home front now. And I feel like in March, there's a really big happening um, taking place on the home front. And I feel like it's been you've been approaching this and, and maybe dancing around it for a little while. And you're now, you're now forcing yourself to take the actions to make these big time changes, um, for yourself on the home front. Maybe it could be, you're going from a situation of being a renter to purchasing a home and that feels a little scary to you. you. You may not, because it is a new situation and you're, you're stepping through this, this portal of energy that may feel a little bit overwhelming to you, Capricorn. And I feel like this is more to in the middle of the month around the new moon. Um, like you haven't quite, you don't quite understand what it, all is going to take for you to accomplish what you want to accomplish in your home environment. And I feel like you're going to need to hire some professional advisors, somebody who is very adept in the industry and it could be workers of some kind, like electricians, even like I wouldn't, I wouldn't try <laughs> if your home needs electric work, don't try to do it yourself. That message just came through very strongly. Um, hire, hire a professional who has the certifications and that's what they do day in and day out. And they know what they're dealing with. Otherwise you might get zapped. Um, so just be careful with that. And it, and it could be lawyers, it could be real estate people, it could be um, appraisers, it could be plumbers. But don't feel like you have to do it all yourself because I think that's the, the situation where you would start to really feel overwhelmed. But use your network, Capricorn. 
throughout the month of March to help you through this transition. And I feel like if you do so, there's strength in numbers and it's going to take a lot of the pressure off of you. Again, that you have to do all of yourself. And like I said, you have um, bigger things happening over here than to deal with the pettiness of this person anymore. And he's you're just going to leave them off to the side to, you know, do their sulking. Um, you don't want to hear their sob stories anymore. They can talk to the hand. Well, yeah, the tower... I feel like I, w I want to say for you to take proactive steps and to reach out to people in your community and in your neighborhood. And if you don't immediately know somebody that you can employ their help with the situation, with what you're trying to accomplish in March, ask people. Because when you start those conversations, if it's not that immediate person, it's that's what's called networking. It, it goes through the network and spiders out into multiple other directions and possibilities that I feel will be to your benefit, Capricorn. So pick up the phone, make those phone calls, send those text messages out, communicate. Don't be afraid to ask for help. It's not a weakness that somebody asks for help. It's wisdom and it's strength. So I will applaud you for that, Capricorn. Let's move down here to moving out of March. So the Ace of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles, two Aces, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like this is you, Capricorn. Having come through the March energy, I feel like you're, you're going to be in a much more solid position. Again, this is really strongly coming through home, this card here. Your foundation, where where you spend the most of your time, where you feel safe and secure, and your base from which you branch out into the greater, wider world to <laughs> expand your horizons. But I feel like all of this work is happening and your attention needs to be at ground zero right now and attending to your immediate environment and what's happening there. So the eight of pentacles, the moon, and the three of cups. So let's start here with the ace of cups. There could still be more work to do, Capricorn, coming out of March. Don't, um, what's the saying? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. But I feel like you're really close. Just stay vigilant and keep your eye on the prize. Don't become boastful um, or celebratory too early. And also watch your substance or alcohol intake. Um, because I feel like towards the end of March, you're going to feel like you want a break and a little bit of an escape. And that may be coming through wanting to indulge a little bit in perhaps not the most healthy of ways. So just be cognizant of, um, those cravings or desires and try to redirect those energies into, self-nourishing practices for yourself. Let's see, what else? So let's go here. The Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you want, you want this project to be like the T's crossed and the I's dotted, as they say. And there's still a little bit more work to be done again. And maybe on things that you hadn't foresaw or planned for there's these little these little details that that need to be taken care of and attended to Capricorn to maybe finalize this deal if you are purchasing a house or <clears throat> a business plan if you're going into or opening a new business with somebody even though this has 
this reading has mostly focused on the home front. Um, maybe for some Capricorns, this situation did did get resolved to a place where you feel like you then can focus outward in your career area that that maybe wasn't getting the time and attention that you just simply didn't have throughout the month of March. And that that part of life maybe felt a little bit neglected. And coming out of March, I feel like there may be a little bit of a, not a panic, but like, oh my gosh, this, this area of life is sort of piling up now too. But don't be afraid of it. It's not that big of a deal. And you'll, you'll get a handle on it, Capricorn, especially because with the King of Pentacles here, if you're staying away from the unhealthy substances, I feel like you're going to have very clear thinking with the moon in reverse on the King of Pentacles at the end of the month with the second full moon here. Like you're coming into a much more solid state of assurity and confidence of the direction that you're going. And it feels good. He's sitting on his throne. He has his castle in the background and things on the home front are taken care of well enough that he's now facing out away from his palace into his kingdom and contemplating, okay, what next? and having the luxury to do so. So, interesting messages. I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment below on the parts that are sticking out for you and resonating. I also want to pull an oracle card for you. Let's see. I think, I feel like I want to pull all three. Uh, maybe I, I might do more than one, but I'll start here. The, with the Archangel Michael Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So again, Capricorn, thank you for being here. I love having you here. I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. Ananda Tribe is very new to YouTube. I started the channel, well, depending on when you're watching this, at the end of January, really, of this year. So doing my best to get the March readings out for you in a timely fashion. And I'll also be putting out divine love readings for each zodiac sign as well. Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> Make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. And I feel like this message is pertinent immediately coming into March and also throughout the month of March. Committing to yourself and the vision that you have for your life and getting, I feel like you are very clear Capricorn on the direction that you want to be moving in your life and you're, you're more and more every day, every week, every month, stepping more fully into your power and trusting the flow of life and trusting divine guidance and trusting divine timing. So through, through the middle of March as well, when this tower energy is happening, when these big changes are happening on the home front, keep coming back to that that commitment to yourself and your life and your your vision and your divine purpose and it will not lead you astray. Also going to read what it says from the book for you. You drew this card because you're asking about how to improve a situation. Archangel Michael advises you to fully commit to your desired outcome. Oh, I love that. <laughs> If you're tentative or unsure, if you're deserving or worthy enough, then the final result will be unsatisfactory. However, by making a commitment, you'll help spark movement in your life. Mm -hmm. So it also goes on to say the possible specific meanings of this card are commit to your current relationship to create more intimacy and satisfaction. 
Allow yourself to fully enjoy each moment. Completely immerse yourself in an exciting project. If you're a musician or an artist, become deeply mindful of every note played or each stroke of your paintbrush. And be confident as you speak and write. So the one that's really standing out here, Capricorn, is completely immerse yourself in an exciting project. So on your home front, what improvements and changes have you 